So here we are on Half uh, Moon Island, uh, one of the many islands of the South Shetland archipelago. Beautiful day, beautiful weather, calm sea, and we've got those fur seals here uh, on the beach, which are actually males, but not fully grown males. They are quite young still, and they are not able to breed because those fur seals have to defend a harem. So one single male will breed with many females and those males come from South Georgia, I presume. So they did swim a long way to come here and to have some kind of vacation. And the reason being that uh, these waters are very rich in food, especially krill. Uh, those are shallow waters. There is a continental shelf around those islands. So shallow waters are always much more productive. Plus, there's a lot of currents in between those islands, bringing some nutrients from uh, uh, the bottom of, of, of the ocean floor. So all in all, this is a high productive area. And beside those fur seals, we have also whales, uh, humpback whales mostly, and minke whales, which are also patrolling those water to find their food. So this is a very special place uh, for marine mammals. And uh, those fur seals used to be abundant here. They used to breed uh, uh, many years ago before the sealer came at the end of the 18th century, because those fur seals have something special. The fur is quite unique in a way they have two layers of, of hair. And uh, in, uh, in the old days, those fur were very valuable in the European market, but most of, of it was uh, were sailed in the Chinese market, in the Cantonese market, more precious than gold sometimes. So some sealer came down here uh, just to make money and some of them became millionaires. But it was a hard work, you know, icy waters, cold climate and dangerous places, rocks everywhere. So it was uh, the golden age of the sealers, but also many of those lost their life, of course. But the reason now there's so few fur seals is because they really get extinct after those uh, heavy hunted. Now they're coming back slowly, but they do not breed here on those beach. So as I said, they are young males having vacation. And uh, if you open your eyes, you might see from time to time a blow from a whale, humpback whales, again, coming here to feed in the summer uh, because there's so much food in terms of, uh, of uh, availability. Krill is super abundant. So those whales will move in the winter to more uh, tropical area and they will give birth. So they have this kind of oscillation migration from the equator down to the polar region just for making a, a feast on, on, the, on the krill. Beside that, of course, orcas, which are actually dolphin, but uh, killers, they will come here to feed on mostly seals and also sometimes penguins. So all those community of marine mammals uh, are here in the summer and we enjoy, of course, seeing them. Quite easy when those waters are calm like that, sunny day on half moon, that's kind of perfect for observation. And uh, those penguins which are coming and going from the sea are coming up to the colony and they have to be careful because there's another seal around here, which is the leopard seal. This one is a penguin killer, waiting for the seal in the water, especially chicks in a few weeks. When those chicks will move in the water, they will feast on those chicks and uh, then there will be 100% penguin eaters. But then in the winter again, they will switch to a, another diet. They will feed mostly on krill. So all those species, you know, adapt their diet to the local condition. When it's time of plenty, they will eat, of course, penguin. Otherwise, they will move to a more classic uh, diet, which is mostly made of krill. So a beautiful day in Hope Bay, sunny, no wind, like a paradise.